Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be escaping the narcissistic spin cycle of emotions. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So the spin cycle of emotions that I'm referring to, this is in the narcissistic relationship. You are taken so high and you are dropped so low. You're on a roller coaster of emotions. And this video is about the spin cycle slash roller coaster of emotions that you are experiencing or you were experiencing. You could never get stability. You could never get calmness or serenity in the narcissistic relationship. There was always drama. There was always a fire to be put out. There was always some place to be going. There was always somebody to be waiting for, which usually was the narcissist. There, were, there was always something on the horizon. You could never get yourself together for any stretch of time in the relationship. Let's say example, it's the weekend and the narcissist was off gallivanting the globe doing whatever they were doing, but they weren't with you. Well, that's when you could reset and that's when you could recharge your battery to a degree because you weren't being gaslit or stonewalled or given the silent treatment necessarily. But at the same time, you knew that you were gonna see the narcissist again, let's say after a day, and you would have to recharge your battery to prepare for that day. Now back then, you didn't know what you know now. You didn't know that you were in the narcissistic spin cycle of emotions. And this is where the narcissist placed you. They wanted to keep you walking around on eggshells. They wanted to keep you off kilter. They wanted to keep you guessing when that front door opened, would it be Dr. Jekyll or would it be Mr. Hyde? They wanted you wondering where they were, who they were with, what they were doing, why they did reply to you with only the letter K after you would send a text, which would basically be a monologue as to what you did that day, what you were going to do, and what you accomplished. Because the narcissist wants an unpaid helper. They want someone to do things for them. And back then when you were in the relationship, you were reporting back to the narcissist every single thing you would be doing. And you were giving to a fault. You were a people pleaser probably. You were a yes person perhaps. You are and or were an empath. But what you didn't have are boundaries. You couldn't say no, the strongest word in the English language. And remember, when you say no to something or someone, you are saying yes to yourself. But back then, your whole life was a whirlwind. You were in that spin cycle of emotions. You could not quite wrap your head around what was going on. Again, the narcissistic abusive cycle, it's meant to keep you off balance. It's meant to keep you hooked on the narcissist. It's almost as if a drug has been administered to your veins, and that is the narcissist. Now, I don't take that lightly. I haven't done drugs. I never have and I never will. My hope is you don't either. But breaking the trauma bond is something akin to that because you have to wean yourself off of this relationship. It's not like you and the narcissist will sit down and, get and grab a cup of coffee and they're gonna come clean and tell you who they are and what they did to you and that they had done it dozens of times before they met you and they're doing it right now to the new supply, i.e. your replacement. That will not happen. It will never happen because the narcissist is not going to be accountable they won't introspect, they won't change their behavior, they will, they will only fine tune it, and they wanna keep people in that spin cycle of emotions. They don't want people to remove themselves from the relationship. They don't want people to see behind the mask. They don't want people to heal. They don't want people to break the trauma bond and exit the devaluation stage or the narcissistic fog. They wanna keep people trapped and stuck and pining and wondering and in that washing machine, if you will, spin cycle of emotions. They want you wondering, did you do enough? Could they? Could the narcissist change? Could you have done anything better? Should you have put up a boundary? Would you be continue to take the abuse day in and day out, week after week, month after month? Would you tolerate the smear campaign? Would you tolerate the silent treatment? Would you continue to be gaslit? Would you be continuing to give and give and give until there was nothing left to give? The narcissist does not care about any one person on the planet. The only thing they care about is themselves and they care about what people provide for them, which include this list, but it's not exclusive to this list. It's people's money, it's their relationships, it's their status, it's the roof they can provide over their head, it's the how they, they make the narcissist feel, it's their tolerance for abuse. Yes, I do mean that. The narcissist needs to regulate themselves and one of the ways they do that is by abusing those closest to them, many times behind closed doors or in moving cars or when you're isolated with them. The whole point of that is the narcissist wants to be one person behind closed doors, 
and if you this drop if this resonates with you drop comments below this is where most of the toxic and poor behavior takes place and then to the general public they want to appear like they're holier than now that they're the nicest person on the planet and that they have so many friends and they donate so much time and energy and maybe even a little bit of money here there and everywhere because that is the mask that is what you fall you fell for when you entered the relationship with them you fell for the mask and the next thing you knew after a period of time maybe a few months maybe a year you were in the relationship with the narcissist and you were in the deep end of the pool you were in that deep end of the spin cycle of emotions because you did not know how you got where you were but at the same time you were watching the narcissist do whatever they wanted to with you and to you they were watch you were watching your life get stuck on pause you were watching your friendships get dissolved your family relationships be blown up your health take a hit your finances go to zero and you not even wanting to function at times because that relationship it almost took you down for the count but it didn't because you're here in the community you're getting the wisdom and you're applying the tools all these things I'm sharing with you are built by design it's how the narcissistic abusive cycle just continues to go around and around and the narcissist plays on your emotions that is why the video is the spin cycle of emotions because the narcissist knows if specifically if you are an empath or if you're a kind loving person they know that they can weaponize your emotions against you they can say whatever they want to to keep you stuck they can reframe and rechange the past they can essentially just gloss the past over unless it benefits them or unless they can manipulate you and brainwash you into believing that their version of the past is reality when in fact you know it's not side note pro tip many people in these relationships when they're in it and many times post relationship is what I strongly suggest to take notes about the relationship if you believe you're in a relationship right now that is not healthy or stable and you're not feeling confident you're getting anxious or you're walking around on eggshells or you're not feeling secure or listened to I would really suggest taking some notes on that relationship and don't share them with anybody to share them with yourself in other words notice how you feel when you're with this person notice how you feel when you're not notice how you feel when you don't communicate with them for a period of time notice how you feel when you do communicate with them that is just something that I did when I was in the relationship and I took notes on the relationship while I was in it and it has benefited me greatly again my hope is that you don't have to take notes on any relationship you are or were a part of well, I should say are a part of because if you do that's a red flag in and of itself but again back then I didn't know what I know now and you're getting the wisdom right now so you're I'm sharing the pro tip with you so you understand that if you have to take notes about a relationship that you're, you're a part of that's a very big red flag but as I'm mentioning the spin cycle of emotions you will have so many sleepless nights you'll have so many nights with carnal screams you will lose weight you will gain weight you will have to research the narcissistic abusive cycle you'll have to process that that person never loved you they actually didn't care about you quite the opposite if you really want the truth but the narcissist needs supply and they need people pining for them they need people in that roller coaster of emotions they need people in that spin cycle of emotions that is why when the Hoover takes place and if you did get a Hoover my hope is you didn't accept it if you didn't get one you should be count your lucky stars because a Hoover is nothing more than the narcissist trying to draw you back into the relationship but if you were hoovered the narcissist is simply playing on your heartstrings again they are seeing if you have healed they're seeing if you have figured out what lies behind the mask they're seeing if you have grown and you've introspected and you understand that that relationship didn't serve you when you were in it it won't serve you now and it can't in the future a Hoover is meant for those people who have not processed yet that the path is to go no contact block these people remove them delete them and all flying monkeys and people associated with them if you've done that drop comments below if you're about to do that again continue on the path if you can't do that utilize gray rock simply become dull and boring don't share don't overshare get off the radar of the narcissist and let the narcissist slither away onto a new supply I need to say that it's unfortunate I really sincerely wish narcissism would be eradicated on the planet but that's not gonna happen anytime soon that's why we need to have boundaries we need to understand our value and our worth we need to understand that we are the priority we come first second and third and that we've risen through the ashes and we've come through the fire like a Phoenix and we are now entering the third version of ourselves the strongest most galvanized version of ourselves known ever to humankind that is when you've actually beaten something that you did not know what you were up against you exited the relationship you exited the spin cycle of emotions and you processed things you slowed your life down you journaled you saw a therapist you meditated 
you healed childhood wounds, you watched videos, you read, you did everything you possibly could to become the educated empath. You became awakened and aware, educated and empowered, and you now understand that yes, there are people on the planet that don't have your best interest at heart. There are people on the planet that watch your discomfort, if you will, be their fuel to catapult them forward because the narcissist gets supplied. It's either negative or positive. And my take, and I have believed this for years and I always will, is they believe that if they can take a beautiful, bright, shining light like you and have you not in a good state, essentially existing in that narcissistic fog or the whirlpool of emotions, the spin cycle of emotions, that that gives them more supply because they're now taking a beautiful person such as yourself and they're having them not vibrate on a high vibrational state, but actually they are captured, capturing you and have you vibrate in a low vibrational quagmire state where the narcissist exists. They essentially switch places with you. And if they can do that and continue to do that, that gives them supply left, right, and center because they've now done something. They've now placed you someplace you did not know exist. They've now trapped you in a place you did not know how to get out of. They've now placed you someplace that you did not know anything about before you got that needle in a haystack and you understood that you were in a relationship or maybe you still are in a toxic narcissistic relationship and that these relationships do not improve. They only deteriorate over time. The narcissistic relationship, yes, in fact, does have an expiration date. And if you have already exited it, drop comments below. If you're about to, I understand, stay stoic, calm, centered, focused, and resilient, and have an exit plan, and understand that these people can't change, but you must change. The only thing that changes post-narcissistic relationship is you finding the needle in a haystack, you growing, you learning, and you understanding that that relationship was not your fault. You were manipulated, you were taken advantage of. The narcissist will not improve. The only thing the narcissist will do is change the mask they wear, find a new source of supply, and glom onto them and get as close to them as they can. And they will paint you any which way they want to using the smear campaign. They will say that you were the worst person on the planet. You never, you didn't do anything for them. You, they will blame you every way possible because that's how they catapult themselves from your supply when you were with them to the new supply. And notice one thing, when you were in the relationship with the narcissist, if they did talk about their past relationships, usually they would blame all of their former relationships. They would never take accountability or be accountable for their own fault in the ending of the relationship. Why? Because the one common denominator in every narcissistic relationship, it's not you, it's the narcissist. And they continue to spread the, the false narrative. They continue to use the smear campaign and they continue to want to keep people stuck in the spin cycle of emotions. But you've exited that spin cycle. Your life is now calm. It's centered, it's healthy, it's stable. You can now do what you want, when you want, with whom you want. You don't have to worry about opening the front door and being gaslit or being blamed about something that you did or didn't do 10 years ago. You no longer are having to um, defend yourself from the past. You're no longer discussing the past with your former narcissistic uh, per person that you're in the relationship with because the narcissist loves to keep people stuck in the past. And that's what they do so frequently. They will blame you about things you did or didn't do and they will keep you thinking about things from the past. There is no future with a narcissist. There is only the past that they wanna keep reliving over and over and over again. And when you are caught in the middle, example, you are in that narcissistic fog, you are in the spin cycle of emotions because you don't know what you're up against. That's why you have so many days that you don't wanna get out of bed and you have people that you can't talk to about the relationship and that you have, you're understanding that you're really taking a hit. Your mental clarity is taking a hit, your finances, your emotions, maybe your health, your job, all these things, your friendships, your relationships, the reason these are all taking a hit or they were taking a hit is because the narcissistic relationship is something you need to heal from and it takes time, it takes a lot of time, but in your time you will heal, specifically once you remove yourself from the narcissist themselves. That is why so frequently on virtually every video I create, I suggest blocking these people and that is the path. It will allow you time away from them. It will give you space, if you will, and it will allow you to heal. And it will also send a succinct, clear message to the narcissist that you've wised up, you've figured it out, you want nothing to do with them, and that you've broken the trauma bond or you're about to break it. Again, all these things I'm sharing with you, it all goes back to one thing for this video. It's the emotions, the spin cycle of emotions. It is not fun to encounter a person day in and day out, week after week, month after month, year after year, and not know what you're gonna get. Is that person gonna gaslight you? Are they gonna throw a rage fit on you? Are they gonna 
continue to pepper you with abuse? Or does it stay, does it get relatively calm and centered and you have a couple years of stability? You're not gonna get any stability in the narcissist aggression ship. You're gonna get instability. You're gonna get gaslighting. You're gonna get walking around in eggshells. You are never gonna know what to expect from the narcissist when you're in the relationship. And that again is where they wanted to keep you placed. They wanted to keep you placed in that spin cycle of emotions where you were on edge and you would be doing things for them. And if you didn't, you'd experience toxicity. But if you did, you would be rewarded maybe, or maybe not, it depended on what they wanted. The whole point of that is the narcissist looks at people with emotions, emotional stability, if you will, and you are one of those people, as weak. And they wanna control your emotions. They wanna control your time. They wanna control your love, your empathy, your money, your relationships. They wanna control everything possible and they succeed until when? That's right, until they don't. Until you remove yourself, you hit stop on that spin cycle of emotions. You regain your energy. Your health returns, your status returns, everything returns in time, it will return. But the point is this needs, these things need to return without the narcissist in your life. Because one more day in a narcissistic relationship when you've identified what they are and who they are is one day too long. You need to take action, if not now, when? Understand the message. Everyone, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the about to be dark Carolinas. This is Andrew, namaste. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning, no matter where you are on the planet. You're not alone. Remember that. You're not alone. I love you all. God bless you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. And drop comments if you resonate with the if, with the roller coaster of emotions and the spin cycle of emotions. It's not a good place to be. So what you need to do is process those emotions. Let them out. Let them out in a safe space and begin to heal. I love you all. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye, you guys.